murdered each day. So what does it mean to truly be pro-life? According to the Medline Plus Genetics, a clump of cells is the basic building blocks of all living things. The human body is composed of trillions of cells. They provide structure for the body, take in nutrients from food, convert those nutrients into energy, and carry out special functions. If a baby was just identified as a clump of cells, there wouldn't be baby showers, right. gender reveals, right. nor pregnancy announcements. Right. Did you know that in the first trimester of a woman's pregnancy, a baby develops a brain and a spinal cord? Their organs also begin to form. The baby's heart begins at four, week, at four weeks. Fingers and toes form at the end of eight weeks. And this is just the first trimester. A clump of cells doesn't have brains, spinal cords, a heartbeat, etc. In school, we are learning about slavery and how black people were viewed as servants and not people. Back then, slavery was seen as normal and given an option to torture or kill a human being. Is that what our world has come to? Abortion being seen as solving a woman's crisis, treating babies as if they don't feel pain. Patricia Sandoval is a woman who had three abortions herself and worked for Planned Parenthood. She is pro-life now after witnessing an abortion. Planned Parenthood covered the part where they took a needle and they and they used the needle for anesthesia to poke the woman seven times. They used it to suction all the baby's body parts, 28 times stronger than a vacuum used at home. Rough to hear, right? Yes. No one wants to hear how their child died from an abortion, how there is about 125,000 abortions per day. The last most popular argument I would like to address is rape or dying from pregnancy. If there was ever a case where a woman could die from childbirth, there are so many monitors and blood tests that help prevent this. There is also always an option for an emergency C-section. Abortion actually causes more risks. If the abortionist doesn't remove all of the baby, then the mother could die. Let's not forget, killing a human being is never right, right. even if there weren't these options. Right. If you were dying and there was a magical cure to live if you killed someone, would you do it? Rape. Nearly 18.3% of women get raped. However, even if the percentage wasn't small, how does a man's crime translate into killing a baby? Yes, there are sacrifices, especially if someone were to get raped young. However, the man should be punished, not killing an innocent human. You know, people talk about women's rights and how their bodies are their choice. At what point does a baby get a right to its own body? Believe it or not, there are female babies. Does women's rights start at a specific age? Their right to live, the most important right, is being stripped away from them as a choice. Since when do people have the right to decide where some, whether someone can live or die? Pretty sure that's God's job. That's right. Amen. A woman's body is their own decision of how they want to live, but not when there are two bodies. Four arms and four legs don't create one woman. That's right. Not one person has two DNAs. That's right. A mother has one, and so does a child. That's right. Moral of the story is, we have to fight for these babies' lives. That's right. We have to stand up for the yes. unborn and give other options. Yep. I will forever stand for life, and I hope that my testimony encourages you to do the same. Thank God you. bless.